Hey there, River here. And yes, diving deeper into the glorification of war and how come we immersed in adoption spirit magic have stepped away from that. And we mentioned a few of my grandfathers and um, it occurred to me, wow, I'm half white. <laughs> And am I being racist? I started with my white grandpas, God bless it. I don't mean to do that. And so bringing in the Romani, which I am learning as it was not included in K-12 standards or K-12 standards or life as I was growing up. Um, maybe one Romani, Yule Brenner, I was introduced to, not personally, but in one of his performances so blessed to be able to witness and thank you for that my adoptive parents and that was one of the ways they honored my coming onto this planet was sharing those sorts of events with me and I appreciated that so much and to this day and so the Romani history I am learning more now as the decade of Romani inclusion has begun in 2005. And so I thought, well, this is the person you want to talk to. This is the Romani ambassador and Ian Hancock. And so he, let me switch this around. Can I? Well, God bless it. He, um, he used to teach at the University of Texas and so you can see some there about this book and perhaps find it on your own to explore more and get up to cut up to speed on true Romani history as we dance out of the fog of the gypsy myths and this is a very special copy he was presenting at the Voice of Roma, Roma Crossing Borders exhibit in 2012. And while I did not get to meet him personally, he spoke at the exhibit that we were so thrilled and blessed to share our art at. And one of the other participants, Zelena, was able to gather this for me. And you may find Zelena at zelena.com amazing, brilliant, creative, and Romani. And so to gather more about how the glorification of violence, um, um, how the, uh, that figures into the Romani history. And The brief story is coming out of India in the ninth century. You got a quadruple check me. I'm still learning. Please forgive me. Pardon me. And um, this is what it looks like to reclaim your heritage and history over warped time and space. Thank you for building capacity for tolerance with me and um, joining me in that learning, if you choose, if that resonates with you, if you are dancing out of the gypsy fogs and into the reality of life here on this planet, um, adopting success for one and all. And so coming out of India in the ninth century, distinctly probable it was part of a military campaign and how the Romani were uh, played into that. Um, perhaps different um, parts of that ensemble, <laughs> chefs, um, metal workers, everybody involved in running an, uh, a military unit. There's a whole industry, right? We have become more and more aware of as information has become more accessible and so um, honoring that we don't need to keep cycling those emergency states whichever culture we are coming from and that it no matter which culture you are from 
no matter where you are from, um, that impulse to fight that's in all of us, that's our amygdala getting triggered into fight, flight, freeze, fuck, fawn. It's no sort of evil, although really horrible things can happen. People can die, obviously, in mass numbers. Um, that's not to um, t uh, uh, diminish that or or condone that, um, but to honor, wow, it's just all the amygdala, and perhaps honoring that, that it comes from this place of loss, and fight, flight, freeze, fuck, fun, helps us eradicate that quote-unquote evil rapidly without uh, as near as many casualties as war, <laughs> and way more effectively, um, that wisdom would eradicate the quote-unquote evil. So, all that to say, we're trying to avoid the glorification of war in all its shapes and forms in our daily activities. And so if you don't see us here or there, that could be why. And thank you for steering clear of danger, for shuffling states of emergency into adoption spirit magic with us, and for playing your cards heartily. We are grateful. Until next time, ciao for now. We love you all.